Growing up, my life was filled with love, laughter, and a sense of security. But on that fateful night in 2002, everything changed. I was abruptly thrust into a nightmare that seemed endless, a dark chapter in my life that would test my strength and resilience in ways I could never have imagined. The memory is etched vividly in my mind. One moment, I was peacefully asleep in my bedroom, and the next, I was awakened by the cold touch of fear. Two strangers, Brian David Mitchell and Wanda Barzi, had invaded my sanctuary, shattering my world into a thousand fragments. They silenced my screams and stole me away, leaving behind a void that seemed impossible to fill. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, as I endured unspeakable horrors at the hands of my captors. The physical and psychological abuse stripped away my sense of self, leaving behind only a flicker of hope. But even in the darkest of moments, that hope burned brightly within me, a flame that refused to be extinguished. It was during those long nights, as I lay in captivity, that I found solace in my memories, in the love of my family and friends. I held on to those precious moments, drawing strength from them, reminding myself that I was not alone. Their unwavering belief in my resilience fueled my determination to survive, to defy the odds stacked against me. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, as I endured unspeakable horrors at the hands of my captors. The physical and psychological abuse stripped away my sense of self, leaving behind only a flicker of hope. But even in the darkest of moments, that hope burned brightly within me, a flame that refused to be extinguished. Then, one ordinary day, in the most extraordinary of circumstances, fate intervened. A passerby, with an eye for detail and a heart filled with compassion, recognized Mitchell and Barzi in a public setting. In that serendipitous moment, the wheels of justice began to turn. The chains that bound me were shattered, and I was free once more. As I emerged from the darkness, I faced a long and arduous journey of healing and rebuilding. But I was not alone. The outpouring of love and support from my family, friends, and countless strangers became the balm for my wounded soul. Their belief in my resilience and their unwavering commitment to justice propelled me forward. My story is not just my own. It is a testament to the indomitable spirit within each and every one of us. It is a reminder that no matter how dire the circumstances, hope can never be extinguished. It is a call to action, to stand up against the darkness and to fight for a better world, where every person can live without fear. Through sharing my story, I hope to inspire and motivate others who may find themselves in the depths of despair. I want them to know that they are not alone, that they have the strength within them to overcome any obstacle. I want them to hold on to that flame of hope, for it is the spark that ignites the fire of resilience. Together let us transform our pain into purpose, our scars into sources of strength. Let us stand united, a beacon of hope, guiding others out of the darkness and into the light. This is my story, a story of survival, of resilience, and of unwavering hope. And through it all, I have learned that even in the face of unimaginable adversity, we can rise above, and we can reclaim our lives.